Hey guys, welcome to For Tutorials. Guys, today I create random cube animation in Cinema 4D. So firstly, guys, I go to MoGraph and use more text. Guys, I type only text holding Shift key and alignment take middle. Guys, change font. Font I use Arial Black. Go on top. This one right and uh, guys height i take only 100 centimeter make smaller and i increase depth depth i take 40 centimeter right now make editable guys go on here and click this make editable key and again go on layer right click take select children and one more time right click Connect object plus delete. That's it. Now, guys, hide this more text. Hide and hide on render. That's it. And after that, I take cube. And cube size, guys, I take 5 cm. 5, 5 and 5. And create smoothness. So, guys, go on display. Select God shading lines. Select this cube. And fill it. Check. And guys, fill it radius. I take 0 0.5. Right? And now, guys, I take cloner. So again, go to more graph and use cloner. Guys, select this cube and make child with cloner. So select this cloner and change mode. I take grid array. Yes. Right? And uh, guys, increase this count increase count and size increase right and guys this is my from and change from i take object select this more text drag and drop in object yeah and uh, create more See guys, this is my text. Increase guys more counts and change the size. Yes. Again, more. Yeah. See, guys. Right? It's really cubic. So, guys, decrease this spacing. This spacing. And don't overlap. Yeah. This one is better. And decrease spacing. more yeah see guys this is my final text right now guys i apply tag so select this cloner and right click and simulation tag and use rigid body go on collision and inheritance tag apply tag to children individual element i take all so play yeah great right okay guys this is overlap so select this cloner and change Yeah, this one is better. And uh, go on back and again play. Yeah, that's great. Right? Okay, now guys change gravity. So go to edit and project setting. Go to dynamic 
and this is gravity i take zero gravity zero and now guys i use turbulence so select this cloner go to simulate particles and use turbulence this one and increase frame like 500 and play yes guys change this turbulence settings so strength randomly i take like 15 scale size 100 and frequency i take 50 go on back and play yes great see guys that's really good right okay now guys this is not so looking good i apply spare so stop and i take spare increase spare radius actually go on go to basic and accelerate check go to again object and increase this radius like i take 170 that's it little bit up yes and guys apply tag on spare so right click on spare simulation tag and use collider body so go on back and play okay so again guys select this tag and collision and this is shape and take static mesh again go on back and play yes now this is fixed little bit back camera angle yes great see guys that's really good right and guys hide on render and hide so go on stop and spare Yes, X-ray uncheck, play. So guys, now stop this animation, stop. Guys, I create third animation. So guys, select this tag, spare tag, and I go to dynamic. Guys, go to like 350. 360 and enable check and increase one frame only and enable uncheck and press this animation key yeah that's it guys right so now i apply c4d studio light this is my light and open guys this is my spare select this flow go on down that's it guys apply same tag on this flow right click simulation tag and use collider body so that's it and again hide this pair and guys lastly apply material select and apply okay now guys select this cube and make editable make editable apply on blue material and uh, guys select this polygon and guys select only faces select select all faces you can hide this cloner select only faces yeah select all faces and apply yellow material that's it it's looking good see guys right and hide lines yeah great right and now guys you can take camera animation camera camera check go on zero frame and select camera check go to 200 frames 200 
and camera angle go on back like this and press this animation key yeah so guys play yeah great right okay now guys i go to render setting so stop and always same MD occlusion, global illumination, anti only select geometry, anti, I take geometric sequences, this is my save file path, create folder, and guys, anti, actually output, useful as different, and all, that's it, guys. So close and render, press OK. So, guys, this is my simple small tutorial cube animation is finished if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel and guys you can download from project file from my website thank you